How hard is it to look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself the fucking truth? Yeah, dude, sometimes it's really, really hard. Sometimes it does make you feel really bad. But wouldn't you rather feel like shit for five minutes and then craft a plan to actually fix the problem? Wouldn't that feel better than telling yourself a bunch of feel-good nonsense up front and then still having the same problems you have right now a year from now? When you look at your body, the reason you don't like your body is because you haven't earned the right to feel good about your body. When you look at your bank account and it's less than what you think it should be, the reason it's less than what you think it should be isn't because someone's screwing you. It's because you haven't done the work required to have a different fucking number there. It's that simple. You know that's the truth. The reason your life isn't where you want it to be mentally, physically, spiritually, and financially is because you're not buying into the concept of having to earn things. And let me tell you something, earning happiness is a requirement as well. A lot of you are probably sitting there right now and you're rolling your eyes, you're saying, oh, you know what, I just wanna be happy. And you think that's enough. But the truth is, guys, and this is the secret, happiness is earned. Just like earning the right to feel good about your body, just like earning everything else in your life. The reason you don't have happiness is because you haven't been disciplined in the rest of your life. You haven't paid the price to look yourself in the mirror and say, hey man, I'm fucking proud of you. When you don't pay that price, you don't get the prize of happiness. This is very simple. A lot of people will say that everybody deserves to be happy. You know what? I don't buy into that shit. If you're sitting on the couch and you're living a life less than what it could be, you do not deserve to be happy. That is not how the world works. You were put here to go on a journey, and that journey is the fulfillment of your own true potential. And when you don't even attempt to fulfill that potential, you're not going to be happy, ever. If you are aware of the purpose of this journey, if you are listening to this right now, if you have any ambition whatsoever to be better and you don't pursue that ambition, you are going to be unhappy. The truth is, I haven't been doing what I need to do. The truth is, I could do a better job. The truth is, it's not everybody else's fault. When you start to tell yourself the truth about these things, you end up in a scenario where you're in control. So that feeling you know that we all have on the inside of being out of control, that goes away. We all have days where we don't feel like doing what we need to do. We all have days we struggle. We all have days that we dread getting out of bed. We all have these days, guys, every single one of us. What would you accomplish if you weren't afraid of doing the work? I want you to think about that. I want you to think long and hard. A lot of people say that person's lazy. They say that person doesn't like to do things. That person likes to lay around. That person doesn't do the work, blah, 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 blah. But I would argue this. I would say there's a lot of people that appear to be lazy that are afraid of the work. It's not that they don't want to do it. It's that they build it up in their head as such a gigantic task and such a monumental effort that they are actually afraid of the fucking work. Think about someone who's overweight, who's 400 or 500 pounds, and they're afraid to go on a walk or they're afraid to go to the gym. It's not that they don't want to do it. It's that they are fucking terrified of actually doing it for whatever reason, people looking at them, feeling uncomfortable, feeling awkward, not knowing what they're doing. And guys, I think all of us possess this at some level. And I'm here to tell you guys, you will sell yourself tremendously short in life. If you go through life afraid of the work, Okay, we can't do great things and become great things if we are terrified of the work. True champions in life, they embrace the work. They embrace the process. They like the sweat. They like the blood. They like the tears. Okay? They don't sit around and think about, "You know what? Man, I'd like to I'd like to climb Mount Everest, but you know, that seems like it would be really a lot of work and take a lot of time. So, I'm just not going to do it. I'm going to do something else." Why the fuck do we do that? 
Why do we do that? Okay? You guys have to fucking clear all these pussy ass thoughts out of your mind about yourself, about your life, about what it is you want to accomplish in your career, in your personal life, everything, guys. Good shit takes work. That's just the way it is. And the hardest things in life are also usually the most rewarding. Success is hard. Good things are hard. Being a millionaire is fucking hard. But you know what else is fucking hard? Being broke as fuck. Being the guy who could have been. Living with regret. Those things are hard as fuck. Okay? And I would choose the work and the success and all the things that come with it over the regret, the, 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 the fear, the fucking anxiety of not living up to my potential any day of the week. These are the things that keep us up at night. These are the things that discourage us and cause us anxiety and cause us fear.